Teenager is facing serious charges tonight in connection with a recent shooting in Tampa. Police arrested a 15 year old just days after two people were shot last week at the West River Apartments in West Tampa. And this is video of that incident. As Fox 13's Josh Cassio reports, it is just the latest example of the dangerous mix of teens and guns. Police say they're taking cases like this extremely seriously, but unfortunately, we continue to see them happen time and time again tonight. Investigators say no matter your age, if you shoot at someone, you will be held accountable. Video from inside a game room at the West River Apartments shows just how trigger happy some teens are when it comes to conflict. This was on June 15th. The two victims were lucky to only suffer non-serious injuries. And we're taking this incident and future incidents of this nature extremely seriously. Not even old enough to drive, a 15-year-old is now facing multiple serious charges, including two counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Police say he's the shooter in the upper right part of the screen. He was also on probation at the time. A second arrest is also said to be forthcoming. Hillsborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez is considering charging them as adults. Age does not matter. If you have a gun and make a reckless decision to shoot at another person, you will not get a free pass in Hillsborough County based on your age. This case is just the latest in a string of teen on teen shootings in Tampa. In many instances, they're stealing guns from unlocked cars and then using them on each other. So far this year, about 100 guns have been stolen that way in Tampa alone. We've got to get the guns out of the hands of people who are not supposed to have guns. I support the Second Amendment, but there is no scenario in which a 15 or 16 year old is allowed to have a gun. But as we've seen, not only do they have them, they don't hesitate to use them. Again, they say at least one more arrest is on the horizon. Police tonight are continuing to ask folks if they have information to please come forward. In Tampa, Josh Cassio, Fox 13 News.